Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome to this channel. This is Angeline. Okay, I have a song for you. Soon and very soon we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon we are going to see the king. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we are going to see the king. No more crying there, we are going to see the king. No more dying there, we are going to see the king. No more crying there, we are going to see the king. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We are going to see the King. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for today. Thank you for the new masses. Thank you for the life that you've given to us, the peace and the, the governance, the provision of Father. We are so grateful. Bless us as the day goes on. Bless us to hear and to do. Take the actions. Because of all this, I ask in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So today, um, to put in some actions, um, we have been talking of what if at the end of your life or you are very sick or you are seeing this, the end of everything, you are in uh, assistant living, you are being taken care of, whatever year you are, what will be your regrets? So at this moment, whatever year you are, how healthy you are, sit down and reflect. What could be my regrets? Regrets are what I, I should have done, but I didn't do. Isn't it? What you, you were supposed to do your dreams you were supposed to fulfill, um, your relation, the bad relationships that you had that you could have improved, uh, the unforgiveness and the bitterness and the revenge that you had for a few people or anywhere, the shoddy job you did at work or at in the house, um, the things that you just didn't do. That is what we regret about. So, are you going to regret that you did not forgive and make life better for yourself? Because forgiving yourself is the first step. You have to forgive. Yeah, we can forgive others. That's the second thing. But it's very key that we look at ourselves and find what is it that I need, Angeline need to forgive Angeline. Am I going to forgive Angeline for walking out in, from that relationship? Now that I'm still alive, what can I do about it? Is it still bothering me that I didn't do well in such a such a place. Did I fail exams? What made me fail? Can I forgive myself for failing that exam? I was to read more, maybe ask for question for help. Um, what else could I do? Be in class more. What could I do? I'm sorry, I'm walking around. I'm just seeing that I'm sweating. <laughs> so, what could I have done with that class? Am I able to ask people for help? Whether it is help to 
to perform well, help to get finances on, help with the bills, help in knowing that this is my weaknesses. Tell me or make me aware of this and that. If my weakness is, let's say, um, a friend of mine here in Nairobi really likes buying things, impulse buying, until it is a problem in her relationship. So, she admitted to me as a friend, and I told her, so, um, one time we were together in town, and she saw that, hey, that's good. Yeah, it is, it is Mutumba, second-hand clothes. But that, that bag is good. I think that one is, is, is good for me. I don't have a bag like that. It has a pocket here that I put my, my, my cell phone. I think, let's look at it. She ended up buying it. Then I, I, later on, I asked her, I just say, give me one minute. Okay. Do you think this small pocket out here, you'll put your phone as you walk in this CBD where we are? It will go in five minutes. Oh, yeah, that is good. Okay. What else was unique about this bag? Oh, it's black. Uh, my black one is spoiled. Um, my dear, you have several black passes. It's not just this. No, but this is unique, Angelin. You see, it, there's this zip on top. There are two zips inside. Okay, what is the use of zips? To close it, okay? What you need in the bag is the compartments. You have very nice bags that you have bought from Dubai and Turkey and I don't know what. You didn't need to spend this 300 here in this CBD. That's what I wanted to tell you. Not about the bag, but you. Yeah, for some time we couldn't talk. But she got my point. She got my point. The point is, she didn't need to buy another bag. She has the bags. She is to forgive herself and then forgive me for being on her, on her face. Yeah, she came back, but... The relationship is not really the same. But the regret later will be, why do I need all these things in the house? There's so many clothes, so many bags, so many. She has so much. And is spilling into all the rooms of the children. The children are aware that but you can't tell her anything. So the regret of not cleaning up, decluttering her room, listening to others, should be what she could sit down and write. She's still okay. She can do the declutter. She can try and take the advice of others when she's seeing a dress and wants to buy and the husband says, no, 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 honey, we don't have the money. She should listen to that. Just being aware that, oh, I'm working on this. Maybe in a month she can put amount that she will use or only once a month because she's salaried, she's being paid once. She needs only to buy things once, the beginning of the month, and that's it. Or put a certain amount that if she has finished it, no more. No more buying. And focus on something else. To change that behavior, she has to change her focus of looking at things differently. 
But that is just one. Forgiving the self. Now, the greatest advice uh, Dr. Maya Angelo said in her interview with Oprah was forgiveness. Forgiveness starting with yourself. Yeah, all my viewers, I know you know Maya Angelo, Dr. Maya Angelo, or Professor Maya Angelo, the late Maya Angelo. You know Oprah Winfrey. Their lives, you know. She had to forgive and forgive others, but then she later found out she had to forgive herself first. Because she was bitter, bitter with the life, bitter with the rapist, bitter, which affected her. Maya Angelo could not speak for several years just because of the shock and all that. You can read her books, read her story. That is learning which is also a good thing with our forgiveness, with our regret. You know, with the regret, like saying um, you put your resolutions at the beginning of the year. At the end of the year, you are like, oh, I did not do this. I had written six things. I tried one, two, three. I didn't even touch the fourth and the fifth. I, I looked around for the sixth one, but there is no much I did. So look at that. So if you look at what you are going to, your regrets, check from your New Year's resolutions, your goals, your missions, visions of life, and see where are you? with them like reading just reading to know what is happening or to be wise you need to have knowledge you can have knowledge and then applying the knowledge is the wisdom reading the bible and applying what is in the bible the instruction given is the wisdom Being patient and humble and kind is very hard. But you can do them step by step. Remember, all the three old patients is more listening than talking. Think twice before you talk. Being patient. Forgiveness, uh, there are steps of forgiveness. If you want, you can get from one of the YouTubes I have done. But you might regret, why didn't I perform well in class? Why did I react like that with anger? I really abused the person or hit things. I broke all my plates. And then somebody says, I don't know. I have, I'm always an angry person. Nobody can beat me. I'm, I'm always the right one. Uh-uh. That attitude is not right. In the attitudes, there are seven diseases. Find out which ones do you have. But forgiving yourself one, uh, the self-doubt disease in attitude is what can really hinder you from doing, uh, forgiving yourself. You just don't know, am I able to? Am I able to be a good mother? Am I able to be a good friend? Am I able to be a good teacher? You are really second-guessing yourself. Check their steps for overcoming the self-doubt also in my YouTube. Remember to be truthful. There is the bell 
um, the armor of God. Put on the belt of truth. <laughs> That's one of the armors. Yes? To put the belt of truth. And that starts you with being honest. Thank you, thank you, thank you for listening to me. This is just saying, list your regrets and work on them. God bless.